Girls in the Rise is a girl empowerment program. We started back in 2011 and is centrally located in a community that's impoverished. Girls on the Rise is a perfect example of what the Christ Child Society has been about for 134 years. Our founder believed you go to the communities where there's need. We knew we wanted to invest in this community in Washington Highlands in Southeast. And so we said, let's just start with a summer camp. And then from there, we said, well, what else can we do with our out-of-school time? And that's when the girls started coming. We saw families coming to us and saying, please, can you take my daughter? She's in kindergarten. The girls that we serve, if we aren't here to help them, they don't see an opportunity for themselves. A lot of them suffer from trauma and have a lot of challenges and obstacles in their lives. And so we wanted to do something more. And then our after-school program started with 35 girls. We provide a lot of services. We do groups with the girls. We, we do individual work with the girls. We teach them with coping skills and how to manage their behavior. A lot of work on leadership, a lot of work on relationships, a lot of work on self-esteem and valuing themselves. Who are you? What do you want to be when you grow up? You're great. You're amazing. We do a lot of evidence-based curriculum. We use known practices to really help them come along and realize that potential that we know they have and to really tap into that. Vimani came to us when she was in second grade. I like to cook, but when I get older, I want to travel a lot and I want to open up my own restaurant. We did a Mother's Day event. She came with her grandmother just to see what was happening in the community. Her grandmother liked what we were doing. She liked what she heard. Amani came into my life when she was eight months old. She is adorable. She's a wonderful granddaughter. Sometimes she's a little hard on herself. Amani came in shy throughout the years. Oh my gosh, she has flourished. She started to come out of her shell, expressing herself more because she knows that who she is is enough. When I first came, I was quiet and shy and I didn't really know anyone. But they're easy people to talk to if you're going through something. They got me to open up. They go beyond. When I say beyond, they will do anything they can to help you. These families and kids, they need social work. And so this is a family support program, too. They actually helped me to learn how to take care of me, loving myself, respecting myself. If I need that extra support, Girls on the Rise staff is here to give it to me. They've helped me be a better person. When I think about the impact that we have here and having her been here since she was in second grade, and working with her grandmother and her grandmother's fears about her, it makes me feel good, so maybe that's why I'm tearing up. Because without a program here, I don't know how her grandmother would help navigate. The girls, their families feel like these girls are benefiting from their time in this program. Every one of our girls that has stayed with us and we've stayed with has finished high school successfully. They all have a post-graduation plan. They're all working toward their dream. They are all trying to get there, and we're there with them. What is the purpose that we have in life, and what is the purpose that we have in Christ Child Society? And the investment is people. So return on your investment is how you define it. So if you define doing good and being a good servant of God, then this, this here <laughs> is good. This is like our newest program, right? 10 years is new for a 134-year organization, right? So we need to make sure that we're getting the message out there of what we're doing. We're so passionate about it. The staff's so passionate about it. So many of our members already are. We invite others to come in and learn and see what kind of way you'd like to be involved. Help support us and join us. Join our families, join our girls on the journey as we look into the next 10 years.